Purple pants, premonition. Bryson, Gary, DeAndre. Purple pants, premonition. Spiritual care and a terror is on the way. Hello, hello, and we are back for the month of October for your Purple Pants Premonitions. And this is a very special Premonitions. I'm so excited. Of course, I can't do my Premonitions without my co-host, Mr. Gary DeAndre. Welcome back to the podcast. How are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed and highly favored, honey. How are you? I am... I'm feeling recharged, you know, I got my battery plugged in and I'm recharging. So like that green light is on and it's like all the lights is going like we we trying to recharge ourselves. Amen. Uh, yes. But I'm super excited, Gary, because we have a friend of the podcast, uh, my Survivor sister. You might recognize her from Survivor season 45. We have Miss Kendra Roof on the podcast. What's going on? Hello. I'm so happy to be here. I'm I was saying before we like went on, I'm like fangirling about Gary right now. <laughs> so excited. Love the purple pants premonitions and just feeling really grateful that you invited me to be here today to talk about October. Yes, absolutely. So yes. Well, what is the purple pants premonitions, Gary, for the people that might be new listening or just a refresher to some of the policy? That's a great question, Bryce, and thank you for asking. So the Purple Pants Premonitions, the way that we thought about it is kind of like foresight into what's going to be coming in a month. Um, so we look at the month that's upcoming and we try to think about what advice, what action should we be taking? How do we keep ourselves most grounded as we're getting ready to step into a specific month? So as we're getting ready to step into October, which is my birth month, so I'm feeling some type of way and feeling super, super energized for this. Um, we want to think about the things that are going to be the most beneficial to us to do, what pitfalls may be coming our direction as we're getting ready to step into the month of October. And just sometimes we need a little bit of love. We need a little bit of advice. We need a little bit of being like, okay, girl, like I was going through that too. I see you, you see me, we see each other. And it's very much like an opportunity for us to be able to get on one accord, hold ourselves accountable and be able to transition into a new, uh, into a new phase of our lives. So this is just to help us to ground ourselves in the information that we need to know going into an upcoming month. I love that. Kendra, sometimes when it's uh, time for Gary and I to record, I get so nervous because the way the cards will oh, read yeah. through Gary to read me, I'd be like, are we friends, Gary? Why are you reading me like this? It's uh, <laughs> It really is so special. And I always look forward to our Purple Pants premonitions. But curious, Kendra, I, what is your background in tarot card reading and astrology? Yeah. So, well, first of all, I know that feeling of like when you're pulling your cards for your friend, I literally had that happen yesterday and we're sitting on my couch. I'm like, she's like, my friend was like, I need a friend. I was like, come on down. We'll do a reading. Mm -hmm. We're both like, she's like, why? I'm like, I am just the messenger here. So that being said, um, I've been reading tarot for, and doing astrology for about 13 years now. Um, and recently this past year, opened up my gifts and my studies and my passion to the world with my uh, business. Wow. Um, called happy to be here. And yeah, I just, I love people and I love human nature and I love self-discovery. And I just know that we all are here for a path and a purpose and a reason. And I like to help people kind of discover that, be inspired and also make them feel very seen. And tarot just has such a way of tapping into our subconscious and these deeper parts of ourselves, bringing them to surface to unveil the light and to help us see our truths at where we are at the time that we are more clearly. So I just love a little clarity over here. I got a Virgo moon. Let's get clear, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> that's me. That's me. I love it. I was born and raised in um, Salem, Massachusetts. So mm. city vibes. It probably had a little bit of an influence on why I'm so obsessed with all this stuff. I love that. And I was telling Gary uh, maybe earlier this week when I was like, throwing the idea about having you on. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, why I it feels so right? Similarly, Kendra, when I met you, I met Gary a couple of years back. We had been talking online. And when I say the second Gary and I, our energies were together in person, it was just like, I've known this man 
forever. And I was telling Gary how when I met you in New York, Gary, it was just literally like never met this woman a day in my life. We bump into each other and we just start rifting and we just start inside jokes that like I don't even understand. To this day, we'd be like, Santa got a brand new bag. Santa got a brand new bag. Now, what the hell that mean? I don't know, but that is Kendra no and no I's clue. love language. And so I'm so happy to bring all of us together because I feel like our energies are just, they're entwined. And I feel like this podcast was meant to happen today. And so I'm mm-hmm. so excited to see what the cards are going to read because I really feel like it's going to be a blessing to someone. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm thrilled to have us all here. It's literally like a dream to be able to do this with the two of you. You know, I love the Purple Pants premonitions and the Purple Pants family. And it's also great to have you. You have so much experience. I'm like, you've been reading cards longer than I have. Um, Because I've been reading for eight, nine years at this point. Um, It's just great to have your expertise, to have your experience. And I feel like also with tarot, um, you know, you get to share your own version of wisdom. And we all have our own versions of wisdom that we are able to kind of like impart upon other people. So it's great to be able to do this alongside you. But listen, we could go ahead because, listen, I'm going to give you all, you know, I'm going to always give love and I can give love for the next 30 minutes. Okay. But (laughs) I want to hop into some cards just to see what's coming up, just to give us uh, the theme of what we can expect in the month of October. And of course, we are going to be using Tarot for You and Me, my deck, to go ahead and start to get the uh, general message to just see what comes up. Um, But what I wanna do that's different is I'm going to be pulling the card and I'm gonna give the message, but I also wanna highlight what I wrote in the book because I normally don't do that. Normally I just hop into cards, but for some reason, Spirit Today was like, no, like we're gonna get into the words that you wrote because you were you wrote these words. So let's go ahead and get into it. Beautiful. Okay. Come on, so, author. Okay, come on, author rest. All right, so let's go ahead and see the card ASMR for today. What do we need to know for the Purple Pants podcast? For the month of October, what do we need to know for the month of October 2024? So, Kendra and I, we were speaking about this a little bit earlier, um, but we were talking about the fact that the eclipse is getting ready to come up, the solar eclipse, um, and it should be in Libra, correct? It sure is. It sure is. This Wednesday, so... I feel like we the eclipse energies can build up for up to three months before this eclipse, and we won't be seeing the same um, access of eclipse, the Aries or Libra access eclipse until 2033. Mm. So we have a lot of cycles coming to release, um, especially with the South Node, which is kind of like our past life point mm. on the solar eclipse with the new moon in Libra, Mercury's in Libra, and then we have a lot of other energies kind of combating this eclipse this week. So a lot of changes in whatever part of your life or your astrological chart that Libra stands, relationships, contracts, we're also going to see it in the world around us um, as well as politics are very much at the forefront. And Libra is that scales of justice, baby. So we got to put our values into our actions for community care. And that's just kind of the way I see this whole thing working out and also in my personal life. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I can take it. I was about to say, because I'd love for some balance in my life. Okay. For some uh, cycles to end. We, I was just doing a little bit of my own pulling um, earlier today. And it was talking a little bit more about just like making sure that everything is just like in order, purifying your homes, cleansing your spaces, making sure that your environment is clean, clear, and ready to go. So that way you can receive. Um, So, Our first card for the day is going to be the four of plants. So let's see if y'all can get into that. So the four of plants, whenever I pull this, this is related to the four of pentacles in the traditional tarot. Um, So this can sometimes mean to me, I always think about it as the way that we think about our money. Right. And the way that we think about the things in our life that we are spending our time with materially um, and how we build our wealth. Um, I want you to think about some of the things in your life that are being focused on in regards to where you are putting your time materially and where you are spending your coin, 
Um, is it worth it to be spending your coin? Is it worth it to be spending your time on some of these things? It's kind of like where this is pulling up for me. Um, another thing that's coming up for me, Spirit, is like, girl, just say the messages because you know what you're talking about. Um, is really just about the way that you are giving and receiving from other people. Now, this is not the Six of Pentacles because the Six of Pentacles is giving and receiving. But with this Four of Pentacles in this very moment in time, it's about the way that you are offering your services, offering yourself is going to be really, really important. Go ahead. Gary, I just was shuffling a little bit and pulled a card on top of that Four of Pentacles as you're talking just because I was like, and I feel like you just saw through it because I pulled the Two of Cups. And we're thinking reciprocity here, um, filling each other's cup up, maybe a connection. Um, and I just remember talking to you, Bryce, you're like, oh, like I have maybe this guilt or, and I'm feeling like I want to be in all these spaces, but I have to recharge for myself. It's like, what's filling your cup and what, and who is filling your cup? Are you putting your values in the same spaces that are reciprocity? And I think that's a really big theme with this Libra, um, Solar eclipse is reciprocity in relationships and making sure that the values are being um, reciprocated and also match. It's like, is my energy being matched as, as what I'm getting back? And so that's a really big lesson here. Um, also, just like deep emotional connections through putting yeah. your values in the right place in the way that that can grow. That's so funny because I was just like listening to you talk and I was just like, oh, I wanted to pull a card on top of that. And then you saw the card that yeah. I was pulling. So. We were already in alignment. That's the, this I is, know. We were, we were supposed to be here together on this day, period. Absolutely. Period. But yeah, and I think reciprocity, especially with that four of plants, which I love that you do the plants. It's like plants, we're going to think our, in pentacles, we're going to think our value system. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, in the traditional tarot, he's kind of like hoarding his money a little bit and he's a little stiff and a little stubborn about it. Um, so I love the idea of like the plants because those are ours growing. We can be taking care of them and we could be nurturing them while watching them grow. So how are the things that I'm nurturing? How are the things that I am keeping boundaries for allowing me to nurture these values and these relationships in my life is kind of what I'm seeing here yes. um, as we're talking about these cards. Like I just said, Josh, the cards read me. And when I say that is how I feel sometimes in a lot of my relationships where it's like, is the energy being matched? Yeah. Uh, but what I also feel like, and just hearing Kendra explain the plants, sometimes it's like the plants grow, right? Like, you know, you can't hold on to the plants how you used to hold on to the plants because yeah. they're growing and thriving. And I think like shifting, learning to shift those relationships where it's like, maybe I don't need to pour so much water into this plant because it's thriving. I need to pull back. And the way that that is just kind of reading in my life right now, like it's literally playing out and I feel like I'm rejecting it. And so to hear this today is like, ooh, the premonitions. <laughs> it's premonitions. <laughs> they don't miss. Okay. But. Okay. Listen, so let's get into the text. So it says the four of plants close to the chest, spendthrift and successful are going to be our key words here. Have you been saving your money aggressively lately? If so, good on you. There is something you've been guarding with lock and key lately, being very intentional with how you consume as and how much you spend. Just make sure you're not being stingy with your time, your energy, or your money right now. You've done the best you can to save up, and you deserve to spend a little bit on yourself as well. This could also refer to any sort of tangible items you want to hold on to during this time period. Would it be easier to let it go knowing that it will manifest itself back into your possession in divine mm -hmm. timing? Be generous and giving in this season and find a balance between security and openness right now. Yeah. You have felt protective of yourself before, but this is the time where you'll be understood by others as long as you understand yourself. Your worth comes from within and you are capable of creating a life of abundance right now. Put yourself in that position to be forthcoming with your energy, with your time and with your talents to help you level up the way that you deserve. Mm. So, how are you allowing yourself to level up in this season? October is a month of what I see with this card is really just like taking yourself and your work seriously. Yeah. Taking your, And also on top of that, like taking certain situations, taking certain people 
seriously. Like it's really important for you to be mindful of the interactions that you're having. And I also think like with that two of cups, it's the relationship that you have with yourself that's going to be really important and very paramount as you are going throughout these next couple of days, as you're going throughout these 31 days, okay? Um, Spirit said no. You had an oracle card that you wanted to, I know that mm -hmm. you had an oracle card that you pulled. I wanna hear more about that. Yeah. So I, before we started the podcast, I was just kind of like cleansing my space, cleansing my energy, wanted to pull something for, you know, just to give me a little vibe on October. And I actually pulled a card that I tend to pull quite a lot. So I guess I just need this message reverberated to myself. And also I think it's such an important message. It's from the um, archetypes, um, wild unknown, Kim, Kim Kranz, love, love, love her, um, love her work. But the card I pulled is Alethea. And Alethea is about truth. Alethea means truth. And it's our, that our soul recognizes the truth and that the truth has like an undeniable resonance when we are hurt, when we hear truth, when we speak truth, when we live in our truth. And when I pull this card, it's always kind of ushering me to step towards an act of truth, whether that's a conversation, whether that's an action, whether that's a gesture that needs to come through. And I also see here like the balance of Libra, the light and dark with this eclipse coming up, because this is really, really big energy on a global and personal scale, because we have Libra as a sign of relationships. Dogs are going crazy upstairs. Um, and they're like, yeah, we need to see the too. They're like, wow, 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 wow. I guess good. Thank you. Um, but, you know, reclaiming our own truth. What does that mean? When we reclaim our truth, we're reclaiming our vitality. We're reclaiming our health. We're re reclaiming our life and the way we walk and relate to the world around us. So mm. just as October is coming through and Libra, the natural reflector of the Zodiac, you know, we have Libra season and we're stepping into Scorpio season, which is also all about going beneath the surface getting to the messy parts of life itself and trudging through it to bring up the light, to shine light on these deeper, harder truths that actually enact as alchemy and transfer transformation for us to get closer to ourselves. So what is the truth you need to speak? What is the truth you need to live? What is the conversation maybe you need to have? And maybe it's around this, I need to be in my bag right now. Like I need to do thing on myself like that that is very much how i'm feeling like i've been not very social i've been very focused on you know my business my stuff keeping my energy and not that that's you know i don't feel like i'm getting to the this is just the season of my life right now so what is the season of your life right now what is the truth that is beckoning you to listen what is the world around you saying? It's like, if you find yourself in social situations when you're like, I really just wanted to like go home and take care of yourself, that's your truth. It's like, if things are like pushing against you, when we feel that discomfort, we need to start listening to ourselves, even if it's below the surface, even if it's like, you know, maybe how we weren't in the past. And like, especially the reflector, we can be reflected with, oh, expectations or, oh, I was like this and that, that was me. That was me yesterday. This is me today. This is my truth. And stepping into that, unveiling that, especially with all these planets coming to Scorpio. We have Venus in Scorpio right now. And I think that that is just such a beautiful um, placement and transit for us to start to uncover our the truth of our values and where we're putting this like emotional energy. So that's the message that came through for me. Um, truth has its own wings. Set it free. Uh, set yourself free through uh, that truth that you're living. Ooh, okay. You know yourself better than anybody know you, okay? Absolutely. So you have to honor that truth and you have to honor just like what's going on like as far as your intuition is concerned. I was doing some, as I like to call it, spiritual research earlier today. Um, and it was speaking to the fact of just like your intuition knows, like follow your inner knowing. That was the card. Um, and our inner knowing knows a lot more, but sometimes we let external sources like stop us from being able to like make things happen. And I think that this month is really calling for us to like really hone in on what our spirit is saying, what is necessary for us to be paying attention to, necessary for us to be paying attention to our truth. But also I think of um, when you talk about Libra, it makes me think of balance, right? Yeah. So having to know that sometimes the scale is gonna be on one end 
And then sometimes it's going to be on the other end, but honoring both sides of yourself and honoring both sides of that reality in your walk and in your talk as you are going throughout this month. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I lost what I, I was like, had something come up when you were saying that, but yes, the balance is real. <laughs> For sure. I didn't know I was going to be getting double team today. Okay. For Gary and Kitra. Like, I'm not ready for this because this is, it's just crazy when it's like something is in your spirit and you know, but it's like, you might not listen to it. You push it down. But then when not only Gary says something, not only Kendra says something, like I know the listeners, someone has to relate to this because bish, this podcast, <laughs> this podcast was for me. me. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I got, same Resonated for me too. Same. We all getting hit. The universe. The universe does not play when it comes to these type of messages. Oh, the message that was coming through. It's like when we're living our truth, and like maybe we weren't doing that in the past. It's like what's meant for me will always be mine. Like I'm not gonna miss out on a single thing that's meant for me. And knowing that that's my truth, and like even if my spirit is in that truth is pushing me to something of the unknown, it's like. I'm not, you're never going to miss out on what's mm. meant for you. Like I truly, truly believe that in my whole heart. And like, that's another part of like living with that truth. So that was the message that I forgot um, about, but wanted to um, say, yeah. Received. Yeah. Received. received. You are preaching. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what's meant for me will always be mine. Always. Mm. Always. Mm -mm, my spirit says sit with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Always. Now, while you running, while you running after what you think is something, 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 your blessing can already right be there, and you missing the blessing because you chasing something that's not yours. Woo. And maybe, maybe we missed it that time. Maybe we're lacking that perspective. But like, mm -hmm. it's gonna come back to us in another way. Like, I truly believe that. Like, yes, in our brains, we can be looking towards different things in life. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we're being pulled a bunch of different ways, but like art, my truth is that like what's meant for me will literally always be mine. And so I can just have divine trust in the way wherever my spirits and my soul is like guiding me towards. It's like all about divine trust with that. Mm. And letting go. Woo, surrender. That's been the theme of the year. Thank you, Saturn and Pisces. You surrender. Surrender. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So good. That's so good. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, okay. Now I went to the Sacred Symbols Oracle deck in order to be able to pull our final card because I want to make it nice and quick for us. But the theme is trust. Trusting that everything is going to be okay. Trusting that you know what's best for you. Didn't you? And we just literally spoke about having trust. You have to, and I want to um, break down what this means for me when I think about like the theme of trust, it's that inner knowing. What's meant for me mm. will always be mine. So you have to know that these things that are coming your direction are going to come your direction no matter what. Mm. Trust breaks down, the number 16 breaks down to the number seven in numerology. It's all about having a connection with this higher version of yourself. That higher version of yourself and the universe is conspiring on your behalf in order to allow you to see things through in a positive way. But you have to trust that you have access to that. And you have to trust that it is your time in order to make this happen. Now, I'm going to read real quick. And then we can go ahead and wrap her up. It says, step into the unknown. All may not be revealed at this time. Trust in unseen forces. Meditate on this to let go of all attachments or possibilities. Free yourself from your dharma and increase your trust in your guides and the universe. So this is really telling us to know that things are working and conspiring in your favor, okay? Especially when it comes to the things that you are materially working on. Things may not have been great over the summer. Things may not have been as great as you wanted to be in September, but things are working in your favor. OK, so just hold on to that and know that everything is going to be a OK as you are stepping throughout this month of October. It's going to be a little a little shifty. You know what I mean? But it's going to be for your benefit. 
do you feel like it's when our like our faith and our trust is really like tested and we can prove to ourselves that that happens when it's shifty it's like easy to trust when things are easy mm -hmm. that faith and that trust and that like promise to ourselves is shown and like made deeper through the turbulence so i think it's perfect timing of course for that trust hard to come up especially with a bit of a turbulent month astrologically coming ahead it's like we will you will you're gonna step out of the season of your life and be like i can trust the freaking universe with everything that's gonna come my way because i did it already you yeah. know it's divine divine come on october that's yeah. gonna be come on october that's gonna be our reading for the month of october wow yes ah uh a powerful one um one that's shaking the tables but i am so happy to have gary and kendra here with this october's premonition before we conclude kendra where can people learn more about happy to be here and what do you have cooking up over there oh my gosh so happy to be here happy to just the letter b because somebody sold the other one um here.com and i am been working all summer on my astrocartography certification. I am going to be offering astrocartography readings moving forward, which basically means let's find your vibration of the place in the world for the time that you're at. Um, it and I am also going to be actually I'm gonna save that for next purple pants premonition that I'm on for you. I gotta keep you know I gotta you know keep keep something close to my chest, but yes, I'm going to be offering astro cartography readings. Um, I do birth chart readings, tarot card readings, and just, I'm going on a trip and we'll see where that takes me in October. So start of Scorpio season, I'm heading to my Venus midheaven career line. And I think I'm just going to trust the universe and everything's going to just fall into my lap and be in abundance. So that's where I'm at right now, but happy to be here and at, at underscore Kendra Ruthless on Instagram. And I also started a sub stack last night because I want to be sharing more intentionally my creative writings, whatnot. And that's um, Kendra Ruth, happy to be here as well. So yes. yes. I'm gonna you. find you on sub stack for sure. Cause I love getting a sub stack together. Oh my gosh, you have so many good things going on. Oh, it's crazy. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I'm just rolling with it. We're just driving away, baby. You ride it. Uh, and Gary, what do you have coming up over there in the mystic worlds of Gary DeAndre? Um, got some shows coming up. I'm going to be recording a new episode of a show that I'm going to be guest starring on um, this upcoming week. So please keep your eyes out for that because I'll be posting it on the stories. Um, and aside from that, I'm just getting back into my bag as far as like offering readings, um, offering my services. I'm letting people know that I'm coming out of the closet, okay, once again, and doing my thing. Um, so that's been kind of like what I'm working on. But you can, you know, you can um, always come holla at me and I got something to be able to offer. Yes, we love it. Uh, I love you too. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that's listening and watching. This has been your Purple Pants October's Premonitions. <laughs> It's the Purple Pants Podcast. You better listen in public, might make your stomach hurt. Ooh. It's the Purple Pants Podcast. You're trying to unwind, you better get that box wine. It's the Purple Pants Podcast. You're trying to get your snack, you better hurry right back, though. It's the Purple Pants. It's the Purple Pants.